Well, hello there. Welcome back. Uh, we're back in my pain cave here to take a look at my treadmill for um, the third time, I think. Today we're going to talk about the Nordic Track Incline Trainer. In particular, this is the Nordic Track X11i. I believe it's the 2019 model, but to my knowledge, they haven't changed it much uh, even by today's standards. So if you've been following my channel at all, you may have seen a video from about a year ago where I completely trash <laughs> the Nordic Track X11i and essentially tell you not to buy. I actually have two videos already on my channel about this thing. I've got a proper review video, and then I've got a second video that just says do not buy the Nordic Track incline trainer and I'll link those videos up here if you want to go back and watch those you probably should if you want to learn all about this incline trainer in this video I just want to talk about what it's been like a year later if I'm still having problems with it any issues they've actually fixed and my experience with Nordic track and their customer service as a whole and yes I know my treadmill is not in the most optimal position here facing the wall but in this house with our space uh, this is the way it has to be so don't correct me in the comments I know it's a risk having this thing facing the wall but we're very careful about it and I know I might get those comments saying just run outside you don't need a treadmill it's treadmills are the worst and you might be right but for me uh, I'm a 37 year old guy with four young children and that means we need a treadmill we need to be able to get our early runs in while the kids are sleeping nap time we can get our runs in and we live in New England where it's extremely cold today's five degrees Fahrenheit outside the road is frozen it's icy. Uh, sure, I could probably run on it, but yeah, having the treadmill is kind of a crucial tool for people uh, like me, so get over yourself. Okay, so first of all, let's talk about the models that are available today. This is the Nordic Track X11i incline trainer, but there's actually two models above it. One's called the X22i, and one is called the X32i. Both of those models have larger displays on them, 22 inch and 32 inch respectively. And they do have a more powerful motor, I think, but I've never had an issue with the power on this motor. And to my knowledge, I don't think they actually sell the X11i anymore, which is the model I have. Uh, they've only been selling the larger 22 and 32 inch models, but the mechanics of these things are identical. So I'm pretty sure the issues that I've had with this thing, you'll likely have if you have a larger model like the 22 or 32 inch versions. In my first couple of videos, I kept stating how it felt like Nordic Track or the treadmill industry as a whole is kind of stuck in the 80s, like things haven't progressed much, there's not a lot of innovation happening. I am happy to report that Nordic Track did fix a couple of issues or complaints I had with the incline trainer since I posted that video. So the first and major thing that they fixed is on the console, you can actually pair Bluetooth earbuds to the console directly now, which is awesome. Originally, when I got this treadmill, in order to use the iFit workouts, which is basically like you're running with a professional athlete and they're talking to you and it's, it's pretty awesome, it's very immersive. Um, to use that, you had to use the speakers on board the treadmill, which is kind of annoying because it's very very loud. All right, so let's settle back into this gentle climb. It's disruptive, and if you have other people in your house, everyone's gonna be listening to your workout, and uh, trust me, it's pretty annoying. Now, with the ability to pair your Bluetooth earbuds directly to the treadmill, you can listen to your workout personally without everyone else hearing it, and that's a huge perk. And in terms of compatibility, I've got like 30 or 40 pairs of earbuds, and all of them seem to pair with the Nordic Track just fine. Another nice feature in terms of the audio on the Nordic Track Incline Trainer is that they actually added something called the Feed FM Radio. It's basically like a uh, Spotify soundtrack or like the Pandora radio that just plays in the background all the time and it plays popular music, uh, upbeat music. It's something that just turns on when you're on the treadmill doing a run, and I think it's pretty cool. Uh, if you don't like it, you can actually turn the volume down on just the radio and leave your workout volume up. So there's individual controls for the volume for each of the audio sources, which I really like. And this new radio feature is pretty welcome to this treadmill because it feels just a little bit more modern now with being able to play music, pair your earbuds to it, have your workout going, yeah. I'm just happy with that change overall. Another new firmware update that they added is a new feature called Active Pulse Training. This is really cool. So if you're in a workout where you're like running with Tommy Rivers or something, uh, you can actually enable Active Pulse Training. And what this is, is if you're wearing a chest heart rate strap or even broadcasting your heart rate from your watch to the treadmill, 
uh, it actually adjusts the workout on the fly according to your heart rate level. So Active Pulse will actually adjust the speed and incline and decline of the treadmill accordingly to get your heart rate to the right level that you want to be at in terms of your target or your goal. Once you hit that target heart rate or you start to exceed it, you're getting a little bit too fast or your heart rate's way too high, it'll actually dial that back down, turn the treadmill uh, elevation down, and then also reduce the speed to get you right back in that target heart rate zone. Now, right now, Active Pulse is still in beta so it's not fully fledged out yet, but in my testing so far, it's actually been a ton of fun to use. And uh, yeah, I've really been enjoying it. There are some glitches in some situations where when you dial the speed down manually because you feel like you're taxing yourself a little bit too much, it'll see that and adjust the whole workout accordingly, but then it will spike back up on the next hill. It'll tell you that your heart rate's too low and then the speed will go back up. So you're continually trying to adjust it to meet your needs. But it's still, it seems like there is some potential there and that it's going to be a really fun trading tool moving forward. Another welcome update to the Nordic Track Incline Trainer is actually an iFit platform upgrade as a whole. They actually have the ability to integrate with Strava now, which is a huge deal. If you watched my first video, this was a big complaint of mine. I wondered why I still had to record the run on my watch to sync it with Strava when the run is already recorded to the treadmill. But now you can pair your treadmill to Strava and after your run and it syncs over to the cloud with iFit, it syncs over to Strava. It does take a little while. It doesn't happen instantaneously. It can take like five or 10 minutes, but it does make its way over. And that is a welcome upgrade. I'm really happy to see that. And those are really the three major firmware updates I've noticed on this treadmill since I've had it. And the nice thing about the firmware updates is that they just install automatically in the background while you're living your life and the treadmill's on. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Now that we've talked about some of the updates to the X11i, let's talk about what still kind of sucks on the Nordic Track Incline Trainer. The first thing is going to be the vibration vibration that occurs on this treadmill when you run on it. Yes, you can't run on this treadmill. Jumping all over the place. So in my first video, I've talked about the vibration issue. It's still an issue today. I have not solved it. What happens is if you run on this treadmill over nine miles per hour, sometimes 10 miles per hour, it hits this natural frequency where it starts to vibrate like crazy. And the main issue here is that this treadmill, because it's an incline trainer, is basically designed like a diving board. It's supported way in the back where the front is completely unsupported. And then there's some springs underneath to try to dampen your foot strike when it hits the treadmill. And essentially what's happening here is your foot's hitting the treadmill. It's starting to pivot in the back and bounce. And then at a certain point when you're hitting it hard enough, it'll actually start to lose control and vibrate like crazy. And I've seen this firsthand. It's something unavoidable with this treadmill and it is super, super frustrating. So I've called Nordic Track about this several times. They just basically wrote it off as uh, something that this treadmill does. They had me try to tighten the uh, lift underneath, the lift motor underneath. They had me try to tighten the pivot point. They sent me some new parts. Nothing has solved this issue. It's a major issue with the incline trainer. Know that before you buy this thing. Now to combat this bouncing on my treadmill, I've tried various things. I have a mat underneath it. I don't know if you can see it here, but I'll get another shot of it. And then I also put these really thick rubber uh, moving pads that were available on Amazon for a few bucks underneath each one of the four feet. And interestingly, these furniture pads actually did help a little bit. So I can run just a little bit faster on this treadmill before it loses control. But the issue is still there. If I go too fast, like over 10 miles per hour, it gets, gets out of hand. Another issue with the Nordic Track and the brand as a whole that still hasn't been fixed is the customer service. It's not very good. I had an interesting experience with the Nordic Track customer service because when you're actually buying the treadmill, you get a lot of excellent customer service through the online chat and through the phone calls. Uh, everybody's very responsive and very friendly. But once you actually own the Nordic Track, that's when the customer service falls off. I wonder why. So in my experience, uh, before buying the thing, I had a pretty good experience. Then I bought the thing. I bought all of the things with it. I got the warranty. I got the white glove de delivery where they're supposed to bring it into your house. Uh, and all of those things have just been pretty lackluster ever since then. And I think the biggest headache throughout the whole experience with Nordic Track is just the amount of time you have to spend on the phone with them. I've never gotten on the phone with Nordic Track and gotten off the phone within an hour and a half. On some calls, I was actually on hold for over an hour. And yes, I understand we're in the middle of a pandemic and a lot of people are buying treadmills right now. It's probably a shortage. Still, it's super frustrating when you buy an over $2,000 treadmill, you buy the extended warranty and the service plan and everything, and you still can't get somebody on the phone when it breaks just a couple of months after owning it. That 
just drove me nuts. And one more con to the Nordic Track X11i that I found out over the past year is definitely still going to be the size and weight of this thing because it is a monster. This thing comes in at over 400 pounds. It's bulky, it does not fold up, uh, it's always in the way. So if you're buying this, just know that you're dedicating a spot in your house that's just gonna be the treadmill area forever because yeah, it's really hard to move. Okay, nearing the end of this video, let's talk about if this Nordic Track Incline Trainer, is it still worth it today? Should you go out and buy one? Well, yes and no. You should know what you're getting into here. If you're a road runner looking to increase your marathon time or going for like a 5K PR, and you don't often find yourself on hills or trails, Avoid the incline trainer like the plague. It's not for you. Go out and buy uh, the Nordic Track commercial series or uh, even like the Bowflex treadmills or I've heard th good things about the Assault Trainer or the Precore treadmills. Those are all gonna be better options for you because they still have incline up to 12 degrees and you can run fast on them without them bouncing all over the place. Now, if you're somebody who's a trail runner, a hiker, an outdoorsy person, or just somebody who likes to walk and get in shape and would enjoy the iFit workouts on the treadmill, I think the incline trainer is still a good option because it's one of the only options out there that has that steep incline of up to 40%. So for me, the Nordic Track incline trainer is still the right tool for the job, even though I have some major complaints about the actual treadmill and the company that makes it, uh, it's still the right tool for me. So after over a year of owning this thing, am I happy I bought it? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I've had such a headache trying to get parts for it and get it fixed and with the customer service and uh, it's been a headache. But when I'm actually on this thing, I'm getting my elevation on, uh, I do enjoy using it. So I'm not gonna say it's terrible. I just wish that customer service and the brand as a whole stood behind their products a little bit more. And uh, yeah, that it wouldn't vibrate like crazy when I used it at higher, at higher speeds. Okay, that's just my quick update video. I feel like I owed my channel because of all the negative things I've said about this thing. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, consider hitting the thumbs up and subscribe button down below so you don't miss more videos from me in the future because I do this all the time. And I'd also love to hear from you. Do you own a Nordic Track X11i or an any incline trainer? Let me know in the comments down below if you've had any issues with it, if parts broken. Uh, let us know in the comments down below because I think the community would really like to hear from you. That's all I've got for this one. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it was valuable in some way and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Okay, bye.